My name is uh, Dr. Vishwanathan. I'm a pediatric neurologist attached to Apollo Children's Hospital, Chennai. Today I'll be basically talking about various myths ab about epilepsy and uh, trying to uh, make you understand or realize what is a myth and what is a fact. But the commonest uh, myth is that uh, if you had a seizure, you have epilepsy. Uh, that is not true. Uh, primarily because uh, uh, is, is seizures can occur in children due to various reasons. For example, the commonest cause in children is uh, with a fever, you get a seizure. So the other common myth is uh, people with epilepsy are uh, mentally ill or emotionally unstable. And that is definitely not true, uh, particularly as far as children are concerned, because uh, most children uh, who develop seizures uh, are pretty much a normal children and the commonest cause of seizures in children is due to febrile seizures or uh, with fever and they're all normal children in all respects. People with epilepsy aren't as smart as other people. Again, it's a myth primarily because most children with epilepsy are extremely smart, extremely intelligent and can perform all activities as other normal children do. People who have seizures can't handle high pressure or demanding jobs. Uh, this is again a myth uh, because uh, we have, particularly as far as children are concerned, uh, a lot of children with uh, epilepsy are, uh, have done extremely well at school, uh, have been uh, high rank holders in school and have not had any issues in uh, any of the activities in day-to-day -day life. It is easy to say, tell when a seizure is about to happen, uh, again not true completely, primarily because in certain types of epilepsy, for example, a temporal lobe epilepsy or a frontal lobe seizures, uh, some children are able to tell us when they get an aura or a warning that they are going to get a seizure. Does seizures hurt? Uh, no, seizures do not per se hurt, but when they have a seizure, they can hurt themselves by uh, having a fall or injury to their, themselves and that can hurt. Uh, so one has to be careful when the children have a seizure that you protect them and take them away from uh, dangerous objects or in a, say in the middle of the road or where there are sharp corners around or where there are sharp objects lying around. Epilepsy is most common in children. Again a myth primarily because it can happen at any age group um, whether it be a, uh, starting from early childhood to adulthood and uh, there is no uh, rhyme or reason why one should say it's very common in children and uh, the commonest form of uh, uh, epilepsy or seizure that you find in children is febrile seizures which usually remits by the time they're about five to six years of age. During a seizure a person can swallow or uh, choke on his own tongue that again is not uh, true because uh, uh, they don't swallow the tongue but what happens is uh, during a seizure many children or even adults get a lot of secretions in the throat because of which they have difficulty in breathing and that causes a choking uh, sensation and that's not due to uh, them swallowing their tongue that is definitely a myth. You should force something into the mouth of someone having a seizure that is definitely a no because that can be a danger to themselves as well as uh, danger to you, you because you, when you try to open the mouth and put your finger inside or put an object inside you may dislodge the teeth uh, of the child uh, or an adult and that can cause uh, major problems for the person. Epilepsy can be controlled effectively is very true and uh, most children with epilepsy uh, are well controlled on medications, particularly if the family uh, gives the medicines regularly for the child and follows up with a uh, neurologist regularly. And most children also have a, a ability to grow out of their epilepsy or over a period of time tend to uh, subside on its own, unlike in adults where many times uh, the drug therapy may be required for years together. Women with epilepsy can be 
become pregnant? Uh, answer is yes, but of course, uh, being a pediatric neurologist, I'm more concerned about young uh, um, children who are going to become pregnant because certain drugs uh, need to be avoided uh, during pregnancy, and that you need to discuss with your neurologist because it can cause the, some of the drugs can cause fetal malformations and also can cause other issues during pregnancy. People with epilepsy pass it on their, to their children. Again, uh, a false statement, primarily because um, it is not necessary that uh, families, uh, I mean, uh, that uh, epilepsy comes from parents. Very few forms of seizures get carried on from uh, parents to children. Most forms of epilepsy, the, uh, the reasons are quite different and uh, very many of them, although we are identifying more and more genetic forms of epilepsies, the causes are very different in different types of epilepsies in children. And therefore, one should not have this belief that uh, you, um, a particular child got a seizure because the parents had epilepsy or the, uh, had carried the gene for epilepsy as such. Once seizure occurs in a child, lifelong treatment is needed. This is again a myth actually. Many children grow out of uh, seizures and they don't uh, require lifelong treatment. So what we have done over the last uh, few minutes is to discuss some of the myths, uh, common myths in children uh, with epilepsy. And uh, of course this does not come, uh, cover everything but uh, gives you a clue as to what are the uh, things to do where, or remember when your child has seizures. To conclude, I would say stay safe, stay healthy and stay informed. And if you uh, have any doubts or concerns about possibility of uh, seizures, uh, do consult a doctor.